The film will focus on the story of Charles Farmer, a farmer who manages agricultural and livestock areas of approximately 352 hectares in Texas, which is the result of his parents' inheritance. Every day, by using a horse complete with his astronaut clothes, Charlie herds hundreds of cows on his ranch. He lives with his wife, named Audrey, and their three children. The oldest child was named Shepard who was 15 years old, and the two daughters were named Stanley and Sunshine. Before deciding to become a farmer, Charlie was formerly a U.S. Air Force fighter pilot. He also took education and received a degree in spacecraft manufacturing. Besides that, he also worked at NASA and trained to become an astronaut who would be flown into outer space. Unfortunately, he was fired by the military before being able to fulfill his dream, travel into space. On the other hand, Charlie's wife worked as a waitress at a restaurant in the city. Many years later, after failing to become an official astronaut from NASA, Charlie finally decided to build and assemble his own rocket launcher as well as a spaceship in a warehouse in his ranch area. Charlie was using all the assets he had and even he dared to guarantee his vast ranch property to the bank to finance his rocket project. One day, Charlie met someone who he contacted via the internet to buy a special supply of rocket fuel to manage his plan for launching his space rocket. When he found out the price and delivery cost of the fuel were expensive, Charlie ran out of money. Then, he went to the bank to lend money again to finance the purchase of the fuel. However, the banker, who took care of Charlie's credit, immediately refused his request because Charlie's previous debt was due and his farm was in danger of being confiscated soon by the bank. Even, Arnold gave advice to Charlie to immediately stop his crazy obsession to be able to go into space using a rocket he made. Almost everyone who knew about Charlie's obsession said that he was crazy and unreasonable. Luckily, the closest people to Charlie, like his wife and children, always support his dreams. At every dinner, every family member always takes the time to say out loud their dreams about traveling to outer space. One day, Charlie and his father-in-law were in the warehouse, where the rocket was storaged. A postman then came to deliver a letter from the bank, regarding the due date for depositing property which was due in 30 days. Charlie was angry and he went to the bank and threw the letter that wrapped the brick right on Arnold's desk, which finally sparked an argument between them. But in the end, the fight between them was mediated by the district judge which then suggested Charlie to do a psychological test with a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist also advises Charlie to stop his madness about traveling to outer space and even says that Charlie will never succeed in realizing his dream. Together with his three children whom he has just picked up from school, Charlie decides to speed up his rocket launch project before his property is due for foreclosure, 30 days again. The news about a crazy farmer, who wanted to buy rocket fuel in large quantities, made the authorities, such as the FBI, the Department of Defense, NASA, CIA, and FAA, intervene to investigate. They came to the farm and met Charlie, who was in the warehouse with his father-in-law. Meanwhile, the other agents checked almost all the parts of the house and interrogated everyone there. So, civil society is not allowed to use high-class fuel for personal gain, especially for launching rockets into outer space, which is definitely not permitted by the competent authorities. Two FBI agents assigned to monitor Charlie's movements. However, Charlie is a stubborn person. So, he went to his friend who works as a lawyer to help him fight regulations that don't allow civilians to travel into space. All the news about Charlie's project was then heard by the media throughout America. They then came to Charlie's farm to get more valid news from him. Charlie suddenly became famous because his coverage spread throughout the world. The people in the town, who initially laughed at Charlie's dream, now turned around to worship and support him so that the rocket he made could immediately launch and it became the pride of the small town. Even though the public and society supported him, Charlie still had to get official permission from the government to be able to fly the rocket he made. People from various areas were curious and finally came to see directly the rocket that Charlie made for years. But still, there will always be negative news when someone becomes the center of attention. Charlie and the family are accused of being an antisocial family. Even worse, they're considered a group of perverts from outer space. Inevitably, Charlie and families have to prove that they are a normal family like the others by going to a carnival and socializing there. One day, Charlie is visited by a Navy officer named Colonel Doug Masterson, or better known as Eddie, who is also an astronaut. The Colonel came to support Charlie's plan and to tell about his experience when flying the shuttle. The Colonel then chuckled and all when Charlie invited him to see the rocket he was making as well as the control room. Even though he supported Charlie, Eddie still can't be sure that Charlie's plan will get permission from the FAA. Eddie offers Charlie to leave all his dreams. He promises that Charlie will get a flight with him and go to outer space the right way. 
NASA, FAA, and the American government actually did not just ban it for reasons of safety, but also so that this trillion dollar space business would not be defeated by Charlie, who managed to make rockets with a budget of less than $10 million. That's why they did everything they could to stop Charlie's plan to launch the rocket by imposing a convoluted bureaucracy on Charlie, who had applied for official permission to fly a year ago. In addition, the company that produces special rocket fuel finally cancelled the sale to Charlie. Not only that, Charlie's financial access is also limited. His wife's credit card was also limited and it could no longer be used. When Audrey went to the bank, she just knew that the house they were currently living in and all of their agricultural property assets were in the process of being confiscated. In front of their children at dinner, Audrey fights with Charlie. What do you want to do? You want to see flying saucers? You have to keep us safe! A few days later, Charlie, who was starting to run out of money, finally used the fame he had to get money from several sponsors to launch the rocket. But when everything started to return to normal, his father-in-law died peacefully. Charlie, who was running out of time, finally found a way to make his own fuel by mixing kerosene with hydrazine. Charlie resets the rocket engine so it can run on the mixed fuel. Shortly, without the knowledge of his wife and children, Charlie was already in the cockpit of the rocket and preparing to take off. The rocket managed to lift a few meters, but it fell again and freely glided into whatever is in front of it. Audrey and her children immediately went to save Charlie. He almost died from head trauma and other injuries after the capsule was thrown hard from the rocket. Luckily, Charlie can be rescued and taken to the hospital to get intensive care. Now, the public is no longer interested in the heroic story of the farmer who wanted to go to outer space after Charlie's failure. But even so, the two FBI agents still have to stay in the city to watch over Charlie and his family. After months of recovery, Charlie finally came to his senses and was allowed to undergo outpatient treatment at his home. He experienced great psychological pressure due to the project failure. One day, Audrey meets her lawyer, who tells her that her late father unexpectedly left an inheritance for Audrey. And it's not a small amount. With her inheritance money, Audrey then went to the bank and paid off all their debts and cancelled the foreclosure of the house and the farm. Realizing that Charlie's dream meant a lot to all members of the family, Audrey finally gave up all the remaining money she got from her late father to Charlie, so he could go back to build another rocket and fulfill his dream of going to outer space. Audrey wanted her children to have a father who never gave up on making all his wildest dreams come true. In short, as a family, they're now working together to build the rocket. Charlie also trains himself physically so that he can survive in space. Finally, they managed to build their dream rocket and then they named it the Dreamer. The day of the launch arrived. The order for fuel that they bought legally also finally arrived. Meanwhile, one of Charlie's men asked to pretend to be Charlie to distract the attention of FBI agents and government officials, who were still watching him. Charlie then entered the cockpit while Shepard with his mother and also his two younger sisters, were in the control room to give the launch signal. When the rocket came out of the building, local residents and law enforcement officers in the area were amazed to see it go up into space. Charlie managed to launch the Dreamer rocket and silence all people who previously underestimated his dreams. While in the vacuum, the booster rocket was released. Charlie plans to orbit the Earth nine times. While elsewhere, the FAA held a press conference and denied that the rocket launch was associated with Charlie's rocket. Even though Charlie had experienced communication problems for a while, he finally managed to fix it and reconnected with the control room commanded by Shepard. Hello. This is the astronaut farmer. After successfully completing the plan to orbit the Earth in outer space nine times, Shepard then set the coordinates for the landing of the capsule carrying Charlie. And finally, Charlie was safely back on Earth. Charlie was then picked up by his family to return home, and he was welcomed back like a hero by the locals. At the end of the film, Charlie was invited to be a guest star on one of the most phenomenal reality shows in America. So, that's the end of the film The Astronaut Farmer. There are so many lessons that we can take from watching this film. We can see Charlie's persistence in realizing his dream of going to outer space. Although it is not easy, but thanks to his family who supports him, he finally succeeded in realizing his dream and amazed everyone who had ever known him.